do the slides because okay. I don't know how to do this. Um, very quickly, um, our law firm specializes in the protection of intellectual property and uh, we counsel clients mainly from mid-sized companies uh, in their worldwide rollout of license system, know-how transfer. And uh, we counsel a company uh, called Solar23, which we didn't know a lot about. Britta, uh, one of my partners who was also here, she did the trademark protection for these guys and uh, they did the weirdest trademarks all over African countries and finally we decided to ask them, what the hell are you doing? Uh, so we found out that they are the biggest system or one of the biggest system integrators of photovoltaic systems uh, all over Africa with uh, 23 uh, subsidiaries in um, various African countries. Um, I was so amazed and uh, so inspired by this that I decided to change sides and change from counseling into investing and being a part and so we founded uh, the Ethiopian office uh, three, two and a half years ago. We currently are working together with uh, GTZ. Uh, we are working on very uh, um, many projects in off-grid rural areas where there's no electricity. Just to give you an idea, 80% um, of the uh, population in Ethiopia do not have access to electricity. And it's 80 million people, so if you do your math, it's a fantastic market for us. How do you bring solar products to those rural communications, uh, rural um, populations? And this is where we got together and we developed uh, a solar kiosk. This is how a kiosk uh, set up in, an, uh, in any African country that you will go to looks, uh, looks in the moment. Uh, it's very handmade, it's very, um, very improvised, and we're about to change that. Here you can see some images uh, about the never-ending inspiration and uh, creativity of African people who are masters of improvisation with sometimes uh, amazing results. These are the challenges that we have to overcome, but the great thing about Graft is that they know challenges and you sure know how to combine uh, social responsibility with economical and sustainable energy. So um, we went, did our math, and I just would like to show you now um, the product itself, which is the solar kiosk. Um, the problem is always the same. How do you bring energy solutions to rural populations that are not used to use these systems? There has been several projects being done by NGOs. They brought solar home systems to communities. Then they left the country, and after three years, uh, those systems were abandoned. I had the chance to talk to the CEO of uh, Conergy um, after um, uh, pointing some rather um, polemical questions to him and asked him, why don't you do business in Africa? And he said, you know what? We installed 4,000 systems. You know how many of them are left in Africa? Only 20, because most of them were just stolen. And what we are doing is going to change that because we will include the population. We will include those who are running the shops, they will be from the local communities, they will be responsible, and when there's local responsibility, there will not be a possibility for vandalism. But I think it's good if you show them through the slides, because this is your yeah. expertise. Two, three criteria that got us hooked with something that is such a small thing. It's a telephone booth. It's maybe a double size of a telephone booth, but you have to think about that Africa has pretty okay cell phone coverage, but they don't have any sort of electricity to charge the batteries. What they do today is they drive their cars out into the countryside as far as they can go and they hook up with a simple cable the batteries of the locals back. In Ethiopia, which is our test country, 50% of the people live a 30-hour foot walk from the last car. Access, access point. So what we need to design is a lightweight, super simple, under a thousand dollar architecture product with your solar cell. That's what we're trying to do. So don't expect any fancy thing. Expect really the plankton, the plankton of architecture that is self-energetic, so it allows us to charge for electricity, for communication. Communication is education, access to the global idea, also to store medicine. So we're really trying to find an, a secured envelope out of metal that is protected against theft and can be component-driven, I'm really going through it, but has really just the simplistic, almost monk cell sort of thing. The real issue is really the energy 
generating thing on top. But why are we not just delivering a solar panel? Because we're trying to give a micro credit, we're trying to bring in entrepreneurship, we're trying to bring maybe something you can also explain how an architecture product, not only an energy product, can really sort of be a business plan. And obviously, besides a idea of helping those people, we also have, and you can explain, an idea why this is a smart investment solution that is, it can be eventually a win-win situation for both sides. Yeah, just closing words, because we're running out of time. Unfortunately, this is something we could go on forever. Um, we are private. We are private um, enterprise. We want to make profit. That's why we want to invite investors to talk to us. We are currently launching a big projects together with the European Union. We have partners with the GTZ, so we are there. The proof of concept is there. We will be soon be ready with our drafts, and we would like to talk to you guys. And let's all go to Africa and do business there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat>